Hey, good morning. How are you? All good. How are you? I'm well. Hey, we just had a, uh, a successful auction that you took complete control over from start to finish. I'm really curious as to your thoughts and uh, why would you need an auction now when everything's selling? It's hot. Well, I mean, it was a good fit for this property because we matched up the property with the market conditions with the actual owner's preferences for how to proceed to get this property sold. And the condition of the property actually allowed us to, to move it um, and have all inspections, all due diligence, everything done in advance so that there were no bumps in the road, you know, further down when you get into negotiations. Um, a closed end process, we attracted six active bidders. And it was really neat to see how, even though we did it online, a seven day auction where we got to literally, literally the last day and we watched it bid up significantly between 10 a.m. and 12 noon, the day that it actually closed. And what, so, what, what was cool to me, you know, I'm sitting here observing this process in the last day. I mean, we had, there's very little activity as far as people bidding on the auction right up until the last day. But can you describe what, what happened that last day? What was it like? What was the atmosphere like? Well, I spent that weekend prior receiving inquiries and phone calls and sending out emails, getting all the literature, uh, all the uh, terms and conditions for the actual auction itself, um, the purchase and sale once we actually awarded the winning bid. And it was kind of a feeding frenzy right to the very end where people coming into the office first thing Monday morning with certified bank certified checks saying, I want to bid, I want to bid. Once we received the check, we approved them on the, on the website. And they were able to actively bid. But again, a little apprehensive leading up with that seven day period where you're getting tons of activity, but nobody's ready, you know, they're registering. But then we're waiting for either a wire transfer or a bank certified check or an ACH to approve these people and actually get them in action. But yeah, leading up to the end, it was like Monday morning, first thing, it was like full court press, people coming into the office saying, here's my check, approve me. And then it just, we just sat around them in the office. Um, the collection of us, it was five or six of us just around the computer watching it get bid up incrementally. And each time you see it, you see somebody else jump in. And it was it was really neat. But I, for me, the most satisfying part was getting it sold for the seller and, and doing it in a way that actually saved them money, maximized their return, and you know, basically helped them move on to the next step given their circumstances. Why did you need to auction that property? What made it an auctionable property in a market that's extremely hot? Well, again, you get back to a property that needed some some improvements. A lot. Okay. Yeah, it did. It did. I mean, it, but it had some some uh, some good attributes as well. Um, not much inventory there, but you're trying to attract cash buyers, you know, investors, flippers, people like that. But we had everyone and their brother going out this thing, and we had everything from people represented by agents to individual investors operating on their own. So to give you some perspective here, typically, you know. It, your line usually is if you get eight to 10 showings, if it's priced properly, you'll get a, you'll, you'll, you'll get, you'll get it under contract. So talk about eight to 10 showings. We had 59 showings with this property. And I was, I, I basically intentionally went through and typed out emails to each person as opposed to just using a template. Cause I really wanted to get tuned into what the message was here and, you know, try to be as clear as we could up front to these people to say, look, some people, we, the more questions I asked them, I basically told them, I said, look, I'm not sure if this is a good fit for you. You need to determine that for yourself, but here's what we need from you. You determine whether you can actually achieve those goals. So um, in the end, 59 showings, but it boiled down to probably five or 10 solid candidates. But for an auction like this, to have five or six people competing against each other, that's where you're really serving your client because you're getting competitive activity bidding that price up right to the very end. So, so we had a, uh, a property that we definitely didn't want home inspections on. And that was one of the reasons why, you know, we went the auction route on this one. And the seller, quite frankly, did not want the headaches that go, th go right side by side with the process of selling real estate. So, and this actually happened to be somebody where we listed the property for free because she was, you know, a first responder. Uh, and we, we actually, you know, this is, we did that side of the transaction uh, on our own nickel, uh, which was kind of nice, uh, nice to help out the community, nice to help out this family and, and get it done in a, in a period of time, which was 
very predictable. They set the closing date. Yeah. Yeah. June 11th. And then she was so intrigued by it too. And as we were going through the process with the showings and everything, she stopped me at one point and said, this is so cool. And I said, I couldn't agree more. It really was. And to take it to the next, the next level, what's really interesting about the auction process is for other agents out there, if you have listings, I mean, right now, obviously in a, in a lower price ranges, there's not much inventory out there, but for an agent who has a property that is basically been listed for an extended period of time and they're kind of worried about letting it expire and losing the listing, this is another option they can provide their clients to, to actually, instead of list it up here and then reduce down to you hit that strike zone, you start lower, present it as a, as a real value, and then you bid it up. So you, in many ways, you actually get back to that same spot, but you do it in a fraction of the time. So what we're able to do is actually help the agents themselves still get their commission. They can present options to their seller and basically demonstrate that they're bringing value to their client by utilizing this process. They keep their listing, they get their commission, and we help facilitate that process. Giddy up. Yeah, I mean, it's a great thing. It's kind of a, it's a win-win all the way around. And, but a lot of it that initially starts with valuation. Here's the fair market value of the property. Right now, what's fair market value? Who knows? The market's crazy. So nobody knows what real value is right now. It's just a matter of what somebody will pay for it. Wow. Uh, the auction process was able, we were able to actually locate that number using the auction process, probably to, in, in my opinion, the most effective way. Thank you, my, my friend. That was, that was awesome. And uh, let's keep it going. Be continued.